What is up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we have another episode of Freelander. In this one, it's almost a bonus episode uh, because we're doing a race I didn't expect to be doing at the start of the season. Uh, we are riding the Vuelta de Madrid. Uh, it's just a three-stage stage race in Spain, of course, um, and I just thought we'd ride it just because uh, we had a big open gap in the calendar with quite a few weeks off. Um, I didn't want to ride the Giro, um, and I thought it'd be a nice little race in Spain, obviously where Landa is from, uh, that we can go to in preparation for the Tour de France. And so looking at stage one, it is a punchy stage with a downhill finish. Um, stage two, there's a much longer climb, again, a long downhill finish and a small section of flat before the line. And stage three in Madrid, just 100 kilometers and it's a flat one for the sprinters. So we take a very strong squad to the race, as you can see, we lead the team. We've got the likes of Pools, Bilbao, Padun, uh, Garcia Cortina here as well. A very strong team indeed. And so I think our team is definitely going to be big favourites for pretty much every stage here. Um, you can see Garcia Cortina is favourite for stage one, um, a punchy stage, uh, which will suit the punchy sprinters a la Garcia Cortina. Uh, we've also got Van Poppel here, Prades, uh, Carthys here. He's a strong rider, could be a contender for the GC. Anyhow, let's see what we do today. Let's get into it. So we're underway in Spain, guys, and you can see we are given the leader role Rightly so as well. Uh, Pools is a puncher, but we do ha also have Garcia Cortina as our sprinter. Taking a look at the start list, there are some fairly strong riders here, to be fair. I've already meant, uh, mentioned Carthy. We've got Hagen, Van Garderen. Uh, Castro Vieco is here for Ineos. Uh, further down, we've got uh, Bauman. We've got... Tolhoik and Vingegaard for Jumbo Visma. They're pretty decent riders. Uh, I know this Portuguese guy has been climbing well in the Volta Algarve as well. I also missed Eddie Dunbar. Uh, so to be fair, we do have a decent start list here. Hoping we can definitely take the GC though. Okay guys, 17 and a half K to go. Most of the riders still in the peloton as you can see. Um, I do want to go towards the front now with Padoon. Uh, let's up him to maybe 92 uh, because we are coming onto this final climb. As you can see, let's set a really fast pace to start out. Uh, let's go on 90, I think. Uh, Garcia Cortina will have a great chance at today's stage unless we can get away. And you can see Arashiro working hard as well for the team. We're in a really good position here. Not sure whether I want to attack or try and just save ourselves for tomorrow's stage. Of course, that big mountain. Uh, Vows is coming towards the front now as well. Uh, maybe we can follow him briefly. Um, he seems to be done though. Padoon up to 95 now as we come into a slightly steeper section. I think we may as well try something here with Mikhail Lander. 2k to go. Let's go on the attack. Attack away from the peloton. Let's see if anyone can respond. And to be honest, at this point, it doesn't seem so. Pools is actually trying to chase us down, uh, which is pretty ridiculous. Anyhow, 1k to go towards the top. Let's try and pace ourselves. So we're just about to crest the top of the climb in the lead of the race. There are 10 seconds back to Carthy and Dunbar. Um, then we have a group, including Garcia Cortina, who will sprint for it if we can't hold on for this solo victory. You can see we've got about 12 seconds on those two riders behind. It would be ideal if we can keep this gap to Dunbar and Carthy. So into the final 5K of the race, we've opened up our lead to about 18 seconds, 15 seconds on those two behind. Um, it's pretty much flat towards the line. It does go uphill very slightly. Uh, so maybe we can just go down to 89. I do want to try and stay out front if we can. Not sure if it's gonna be possible. Uh, possible. Carthy is chasing us down. Uh, Garcia Cortina, I hope, I hope he's positioning himself nicely uh, for a sprint, but anyhow, 1k to go, let's go up to 99, sprint for the line with 600 meters. We're going to win stage one, a lovely solo victory for Mikhail Lander here. So we don't take any time on the riders behind, which isn't a surprise to be honest, um, apart from the bonus seconds, of course. Anyhow, we're in the lead of the GC in a perfect position. On to stage two guys, and it is classified as a hilly stage, but to me, this is more of a mountainous stage for sure. Uh, we're going to try and kick away on this climb um, and hopefully come in solo to the line. So we're now coming in to this big, big climb. As you can see, guys, we have a few riders still up the road. Madrazo and Hansen are the only guys remaining from the early breakaway. I've been setting a pretty hard pace, to be fair, um, which is why a few of our guys are looking quite tired. 
Um, and it's now Ineos on the front working for Eddie Dunbar. So we have under 6k to go on the climb. As you can see, Mark Platoon leading us up very nicely. We're in second wheel, in control at the moment. But now TJ Van Garderen comes towards the front. Um, Carthy close behind as well. Dunbar's here as well. Uh, we have 5k to go. And to be fair, we're not looking too good. Still 86 riders or 75 now in the peloton. I'm just going to sit up and maybe uh, try and follow any attacks if anyone goes off the front. So 2k to go on the climb. It doesn't seem like anyone is doing anything for now. We will come to the right and attack past our man Padoon on the front. Let's pace on 90 to the top of the climb. Everyone else is going to try and follow now if they can. Only about um, 100 meters or less than that to go towards the top of this climb. And to be fair, more riders are here than I anticipated. Um, and we have uh, 22 now coming towards us, uh, but we have managed uh, to stay out front alone. That could be quite important, uh, trying to draw some riders out chasing us down. 20k to go in the stage and we are trying to attack away and keep our gap on this downhill section. Uh, there was 43 riders behind, or even 72 now. Uh, we do have a fairly long section of flat, uh, but I think we can go 99 on this downhill section and have energy for the flat section. Uh, so let's see if we can keep this lead. Obviously a very good downhiller. Um, hopefully we can keep this lead uh, through the bottom of the climb. Here we go then guys, the climb is now done. We race into the final 10K of the stage and to be fair I'm not sure if we have enough energy to go solo to the line we've opened up a lead uh, over 20 seconds now let's just sit on 85 and see if we can stay out front um, if not we're going to wait up for the peloton so 6k to go and we have been caught there you go uh, we won't win this stage solo we just need to try and protect our lead in the GC now so 5k to go we've taken Garcia Cortina's wheel Michael Gurgle has attacked for NTT we're in a decent position we should have enough energy to comfortably finish in the peloton um, although to be fair I'm not sure if we're going to be able to challenge for a decent position hopefully Garcia Cortina can do that though um, into the final 2k Garcia Cortina is in perfect position into the final kilometer let's sprint for the line Van Poppel goes for it though and I don't think Garcia Cortina is going to win it Van Poppel wins easily and we finish comfortably in the peloton so the issue is now guys obviously van poppel has taken 10 seconds we didn't get any time in the first stage so we are now tied in first or in second place in the gc and van poppel obviously a better sprinter has the best chance of winning that final stage so i'm not sure we're going to be able to win the gc here on to the final stage then guys of the vuelta de madrid and we are in madrid today um, for a very flat finish um, and I do think Van Poppel is in prime position to win the GC unless we can pull off an improbable attack. Okay guys, into the final 5k of the stage. There has just been a fall behind. Um, I don't think anyone of note is there though. Uh, so let's up the pace now with Arashiro up to maybe 92. Try and put Lander in a good position uh, just to finish towards the front really. We're not going to challenge for the win today. Hopefully Garcia Cortina can do that though. Let's use our energy gel quite late indeed. Uh, but anyhow, let's sprint under the 1k to go banner. Can Garcia Cortina, uh, Garcia Cortina take it? I think he might be able to versus Barbero. We're coming late as well. But I think Garcia Cortina just about gets the win. We actually finish in fourth place just outside the time bonuses. Not quite sure how this is going to turn out here. So Garcia Cortina takes the stage, obviously a great win for the team. Two wins out of three in the race. Let's see how the GC looks and it is Ivan Garcia Cortina who gets the win for the team. There we go then guys, great result for the team in the end. Uh, we won two stages, uh, stage one and stage three of course. Uh, Garcia Cortina wins the GC uh, after finishing I think third on stage two and then winning stage three. Great result here. We finish in the top three as well. So a bit disappointing not to take the GC in that race, but winning a stage is fine. Obviously not one of our targets for the season. We're going on to bigger things now. And worth noting that the Giro d'Italia is of course underway. Uh, Kreuzberg won stage one, Grunewagen won stage two, um, he also won stage three um, and Kreuzvik currently holds the pink jersey after just three stages. And so looking at the calendar, that was just a quick race uh, just to keep our fitness up really, if nothing else. Next up, we have the Dauphiné, of course, 
in the build-up to the Tour de France and the national championships. Uh, so some big, big races coming up. And so if you guys enjoyed this quick little bonus episode, if you will, please drop a like on the video down below. That really helps the channel out. Tell me what you thought down in the comments. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.